All right, we got one more basic function that I want to make you aware of here. This is another pretty common one and a very useful one. This is called the count function. I want to be able to count the number of values that I have in a range of cells. Now the count function counts very specific data. A count function counts numeric data. Take a look. Once again, I'm going to drop down into my, my little worksheet here, A15, and I'm going to put in a header called count. And now I want to count the bills that I have, the bills that I've paid perhaps, because the count function will only count numeric values. Watch. So I'm inside a cell B15. Once again, back to formulas, insert function. I'm going to search for count. I'll hit go. There's my count function. Do notice there's a couple of different types of counts. We'll maybe perhaps talk about some of these other ones, more advanced ones, way later in a different course. But for now, we got just count. I got count. I'll hit OK. Same, same setup as the sum and average and min and max. Just wants to know the range of cells. So I'm going to grab B5 through B9, and I'll hit OK. And I've now got a count of the total values in there. There's five of them five numeric values inside that range. Now this is a great one, it's a simple one, but remember the count function counts numeric values, which means, you know, what if I didn't pay credit card this month? I just delete that out. Gone, deleted. How many is it counting now? Well, I only paid four of them now, right? Credit cards is gone. So the count function, counting numeric values from a range of cells. Try it out again. Do it for January, finish it off for February and March, count how many bills you have in there. Won't be a big surprise, you're gonna get five, but try deleting one. Make sure that your count function is only counting those numeric values.